Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we explore the fascinating world of wildlife and dramatic confrontations. Today, we will learn about the competition between two formidable reptiles, crocodiles and alligators. So what would happen if these two species met? Who will be the winner? Join us in diving into this hypothetical war and discover interesting facts about their strength, strategies and survival abilities. Crocodiles and alligators are the animals most closely related to dinosaurs and can trace their origins back more than 70 million years ago. From that time until now, these living fossils have changed very little in shape and behavior. Alligators and alligators have many similarities in size, behavior and appearance, making them sometimes difficult to distinguish. The American alligator, often simply called crocodile, is a large reptile of the genus Crocodilus. The only extant species in this genus are the Chinese alligator and the American alligator. They belong to the order Crocodilia, along with crocodiles, alligators and caimans. Crocodiles are large aquatic reptiles that live in tropical regions throughout Africa, Asia, the Americas and Australia. They are also known for their ability to venture far from the coast. Crocodiles have an ancient lineage and are believed to have changed little since the time of the dinosaurs. They have an armored body with a flat, muscular tail. Their back skin is covered with bony plates called scales. They have four short legs. The front feet have five toes, while the hind feet have only four. Crocodile snouts are long and round, and their nostrils point upward, helping them breathe when the rest of their body is submerged under water. Distinguishing crocodiles and alligators can be easier thanks to their teeth. The large fourth tooth in the crocodile's lower jaw fits into the socket in the upper jaw and is not visible when the crocodile closes its mouth. This does not happen in American alligators. Male crocodiles are usually larger than female crocodiles, with adult females averaging about two. Six meters long and males about three, four meters long. Extremely large males can weigh up to nearly half a ton, about 454 kilograms. Crocodiles' physical characteristics make them excellent hunters. Their slender bodies allow them to swim faster and can move quickly over short distances even on land. Crocodiles have extremely strong jaws, capable of biting with 3,000 pounds of force per square inch and sharp teeth to tear flesh. However, they cannot open their mouths if they are tightly closed. All large crocodiles also have sharp and strong claws, which contribute to their ability to hunt effectively. Crocodile sizes vary widely, from tiny dwarf crocodiles to giant saltwater crocodiles. The largest species can reach lengths of 16, 4 to 19, 7 feet, 5 to 6 meters, and weigh more than 2,640 pounds, 1,200 kilograms. The saltwater crocodile is the largest crocodile and also the largest reptile on Earth. Alligators live in the southern United States, from East Texas and Oklahoma to North Carolina, and are known throughout Florida. They can be found in slow-moving rivers, ponds, lakes, and swamps. Chinese crocodiles live in eastern China, limited to a small area of the Yangtze River Basin near the Pacific Ocean. In the past, they often lived in rivers, lakes, ponds, and swamps, but now they are mainly limited to ditches and ponds on agricultural land because most of their habitat has been converted into rice fields. You can find different species of crocodiles on every continent, except Antarctica. They live mainly along the equator throughout their range. The four species of crocodile range from southern North America, through Central America, and into northern South America. Three other species live in various parts of Africa, and the remaining seven species are distributed throughout Southern Asia, Northern Australia, and the islands between them. Each crocodile species has its own distinct range and habitat, with some species having overlapping populations. Some species live in large areas, while others only inhabit small areas. Although each species has its own preferred habitat, all 16 species are semi-aquatic, spending most of their time underwater but often coming ashore to sunbathe. Some live mainly in salt water, others live mainly in fresh water, others live mainly in brackish water environments. You can find them in rivers, estuaries, swamps, lakes, dams, reservoirs, and estuaries. Crocodiles are carnivores with extremely strong jaws that can break turtle shells. They eat fish, snails, and other invertebrates, as well as birds, frogs, and mammals that come close to the water's edge. Crocodiles use sharp teeth to grab and hold prey, swallowing small prey whole. 
If the prey is large, they tear it into smaller pieces to make it easier to swallow. If the prey is too large, they will bite and rotate along their body axis to tear off pieces that are easy to swallow. Crocodiles are ambush predators, waiting for fish or land animals to approach and then suddenly attacking. As cold-blooded predators, they can survive for long periods without food and rarely actively hunt. Despite their slow appearance, crocodiles are top predators in their habitat, and many species have been observed attacking and killing sharks. Crocodiles primarily eat vertebrates such as fish, reptiles and mammals, but they also occasionally eat invertebrates such as mollusks and crustaceans, depending on the species. Crocodiles are social animals and often gather in groups called guilds. These groups are often seen sunbathing or swimming together. Crocodiles regulate their body temperature from the outside environment. Like most reptiles, they are cold-blooded, meaning they cannot control their internal body temperature. On sunny days, they can take advantage of the sunlight at the water's edge to warm up or enter the water to cool down. When it's cold, American alligators often spend more time underwater, which retains heat better than the outside air. Crocodiles also use water to hunt. On land, they may look clumsy, but in water, they can swim very fast thanks to their powerful tails. Most reptiles tend to live alone, but many species of crocodiles often live in large groups. However, these groups have no strong bonds or social structure beyond large-scale gatherings in sunbathing areas. Usually, they compete with each other to share large prey, such as buffalo. Suppose there was a fight between a crocodile and an alligator, who would win? To most people, alligators and alligators look similar. They usually do not live in the same environment, but there are some places where they meet. Both crocodiles and alligators seem strong and dangerous, but alligators are often more aggressive, making them more dangerous than alligators. Alligators are opportunistic predators, meaning they won't chase you unless provoked. Although different, both species use their long snouts to hold their prey tightly, helping them easily tear food into large pieces and increase hunting efficiency. In a hypothetical fight, the crocodile is more likely to win. They have a bite force of over 3,500 psi and the ability to strike powerfully, even when unprovoked. By comparison, an American alligator's bite force is only about 2,900 psi and they are smaller in size and weight. However, the outcome of this battle depends on many factors such as the habitat and age of the participating species. Aggression plays an important role in battle, and crocodiles, including the Australian saltwater crocodile and the African Nile crocodile, are considered the kings of the crocodilian order. In areas where they coexist, alligators often have to give way when faced with aggressive crocodiles. In a competition between crocodiles and alligators, Crocodiles are more likely to win due to their stronger bite force and more aggressive personality. Although both species are formidable and top predators in their environment, crocodiles often prove more dangerous and have the upper hand in confrontations. However, success in a battle depends on many factors such as the living environment, age and health of each individual. In the wild, where both crocodiles and alligators can meet, the crocodile will often have to give way to the more aggressive and powerful crocodile. This is why the Australian saltwater crocodile and the African Nile crocodile are considered the true kings of the crocodilia order, demonstrating dominance not only in strength but also in ferocity in the world animal. In addition, although the American alligator is not an easy opponent, it rarely shows an offensive personality when it is not necessary. They often stay away from direct confrontations with crocodiles, especially when the size and bite force are not equivalent. However, in some special cases when food sources are scarce or territories are violated, encounters between them may occur. At this time, hunting strategy and survival ability will determine the outcome of the battle. Regarding habitat, American alligators often prefer freshwater areas such as ponds, lakes and swamps, while American alligators can live in both salt and brackish water. This shows the greater adaptability of crocodiles in harsh conditions, giving them an added advantage when confronting American alligators. This difference not only affects hunting strategies, but also affects how these two species defend their territories and compete with each other. Both species play important roles in their ecosystems, regulating the populations of other species and maintaining ecological balance. Understanding their lives and behavior not only brings knowledge about the animal world, but also makes us aware of the importance of protecting these ancient animals.
With the interesting videos and information we provide, we hope you will gain a deeper insight into the lives of crocodiles and alligators, as well as the challenges they face in the wild. Course, course, please continue to follow our channel to discover more exciting adventures in the world of wildlife. Thank you for accompanying us on this journey of discovery. Thank you for watching our video. If you find this content interesting and useful, please press the like button and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the next interesting videos. Your support is the biggest motivation that helps us continue to bring quality videos. See you again in the next videos.